guys, Laura here from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. Today I'm working on a country cottage inspired Welsh dresser and I thought I'd bring you along to see what I'm up to. This piece had been hanging around at my local furniture suppliers for a while, so I decided to bring her home and give her a makeover. This is in lovely condition, but that dark varnish is really making it feel dated, so I'm going to give it a fresh new look. The first and most important step of any makeover is to clean it first. I always use white lightning, which I've mixed up in my spray bottle, and give it a really, really good clean. After that, I rinse off with some plain water to remove any of the white lightning residue. Now I'm going to give it a good sand all over using my electric sander. This is to create a key for the paint to adhere to. I'm mostly using a 120 grit sandpaper, but on the top, which I'm going to leave exposed, I started off with an 80 grit, then a 120 and then finished off with a 320 to make it nice and smooth. Now I'm going to prime. So this is Dixie Belle Paints brand new Bond Emboss in grey. Bond Emboss is a mixture of boss and slick stick together. This means that this primer will stain block and also work as an adhesion primer so that your paint sticks and stays put. First of all, I'm going to work into the detailed areas with the Bond Emboss and then I'm going to go over the smoother areas after making sure that I've got full coverage with the primer so that this will prevent any bleed through from the oak tannins. Now I'm ready to start painting with my main colour. I've chosen Endless Shore, which is part of the Silk Mineral Paint line and this is a gorgeous off-white creamy colour. Because I've already primed the surface, this means that I can get away with less coats. Normally, light colours will require more coats to achieve full coverage, but because I've primed, I'm only going to need two coats of Endless Shore. Once that's all dry, it's time to add some age and character with some Van Dyke Brown Glaze. I've got some blue shop cloth to hand, also my water mister bottle and a premium chip brush. I'm going to get a generous amount of the Brown Glaze on my brush and then I'm going to apply it into all of the detailed areas on the drawers. I will then get my shop cloth and wipe off the excess. It's best to work in small sections so that the glaze doesn't dry before you've had chance to wipe off the excess. I am applying this all over, but I'm wiping it off the main sections whilst leaving a lot of the glaze in the detailed areas. This is to make it look slightly grungy and aged, like it's been sitting there for years and given it an authentic, characterful vibe. If you feel that some areas of the glaze look a little bit too heavy, you can simply use your water mister spray bottle to spray that and wipe it back a little bit more. Don't be afraid to just get involved and have a go because it can always be rectified if you don't like the end result. Now it's time to seal this special oak surface. I didn't want to cover it up with paint or any other stains because I love the colour that it already is. So I'm just going on with some clear bestang wax using a French tip natural bristle brush and I'm just going to brush this on, working it into the wood grain before removing the excess with a cheap kitchen sponge. And here is the end result. This piece has been completely transformed and freshened up simply and easily, while still retaining the gorgeous aged character. Thank you so much for joining us on our latest upcycle. Please let us know what you think to this in the comments. And if you'd like to see more of our work, you can go and join us on all of the social media sites at Cherubs Chalks Interiors.
For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a comment and turn on your post notifications to be notified when we next post. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again next time.